Welcome back for a monumental evening of squash in this quarter-final stage of the Grasshopper Cup. Kicking us off, the French general, defending champ and number one seed. He takes on the bullet, Mohamed Abouelgar, the number six seed from Egypt. So the lineup after that, Ramir Shaw will take on Simon Rosner. The baby-faced assassin, and he'll take on the marksman, the viper against the beast. So some massive, massive matches for this quarterfinals. Very exciting. Abuelgar, who won his first match of 2018, two days ago, beating uh, his friend and countryman, the Black Falcon, Mezu Hesham. He's uh, now known as the bullet on the PSA World Tour, not the talent. We've uh, had a bit of a discussion, I've had a thought about it, and chatting also with uh, Mezin Hisham about it. And the bullet is something that uh, Abuelgar suits, and particularly with his new haircut, looking very, very sharp and very uh, slick. The way he plays his squash is certainly like a bullet when he's on form. Real, real uh, talent top 10 player now Gregory Gaultier we're just going and looking at his ranking stats earlier today and it's uh, November 2006 is when he hits inside the top five he only slightly ventured to number six in the world for a couple of months and apart from that up until now he's been inside the the top five in the world it's just an unbelievable trait well the uh, stats man is with me again. It's uh, Johnny Rainman. Jo sorry, Johnny Williams is with me. Dustin, good Dustin Williams. <laughs> good, good evening, Johnny. Thank you, Joey. And uh, you can sense the air of anticipation around the state, the, the arena tonight. There's uh, a full house again. Swiss public uh, supporting this event with uh, a lot of gusto. So we're really looking forward to this uh, very big quarterfinal lineup tonight just two times you see there Gregory Gaultier has beaten Mohamed Abu Elgar three love three love so Abu Elgar he's got it all in front of him no doubt Abu Elgar would have had a watchful eye on round one where Nicky Miller quarterfinal match troubled Mohammed. Gaultier Abu Elgar of Egypt to serve Gregory Gaultier of France to receive Best of five games, love all. So here we go, first quarter final. As Abu Elgar opens proceedings. So they haven't played since October of 2014 and uh, that was a, an absolute drubbing, that score line. 11-1, 11-1, 11-5. Greg Goltier's done that to many opponent over the years, especially in early rounds. But Abu Elgar now is a different kettle of fish for 2014. So he's been crowned the bullet. This rally already a lot lengthier than anything that uh, Abu Elgar had in his first round encounter with Mazen Hesham, Joey. It's probably the longest rally of the tournament for him so far, <laughs> no doubt. It's, it's a uh, welcome to the big league from Greg. He does that to everybody generally. Yeah, it is, it is welcome to the big league. I like that, Johnny. Down. And there's the error. Yeah. Quality stuff. Kula. I'm just saying, Joey, it's awesome to see. That's it's a well packed cool. house for the quarterfinal. It is a packed house, and rightly so. I've been keeping uh, an eye on the ticket sales. Well, that's good that you have, because I know you've probably got a vested interest being your Johnny Investments, but uh, <laughs> just to give you a, an idea of that second rally, 
was actually 1 minute 17 seconds, so way over anything that Abu Elgar played against Mezen Hesham. Only the second rally. Thank you. Nice to see from Galtier calling his own ball down there. And not up. Hand out. One, two. Well, that's an example of the bullet. He's got all the attributes, Johnny, this young Egyptian. He's unbelievably clinical when he wants to be finishing the ball. He's got an amazing kind of plyometric bounce around the court. You see the way he hits and moves. He's strong, a lot of speed and power. He can start to get that mental strength up to uh, the top 10 level. That's when he can start becoming a real handful for the very top players. But he's going to have a, a real lesson here with Gregory Gaultier. The fact that the Frenchman's been out for a period of time. You're looking at the most experienced campaigner along with Nick Matthew and James Wallstrop on the PSA World Tour today. Jeff Lett. So that rally also was a nice long one, one there. Already 52 seconds. This is great stuff, isn't it, Joey? Right in my element here. Yeah, I've got to, sorry, my voice, I'm getting that excited with it. But uh, we're getting some tremendous uh, feedback from Interactive Squash. It, every day it actually gets better and better. We've got uh, our own dashboard now. So we're able to reel off all sorts of clever stuff for all the fans. This is what's so important about sport. It's actually finally being documented. And it's, I think it's just... It'd be great. It's great to be able to tell the people. We talk about how fit and strong they are. Well, that's the, all, yeah. The well, multiple sprint lunging and all this. And you look at that second rally, 109 metres. Abu Elgar's had to sprint across the court, backwards, forwards, sideways. Lunging. Yeah. It's all lunging. And we've only started. And this uh, is another engaging rally. Galtier just clipping that one off his toes. Down. And that's how Greg breaks these guys and down, down. Three, wears one. them down with an immensely high quality of play and then feeds off any kind of unforced error. So Abu Elgar, he loves to play shots like that and be very positive with his attacks. Just got to be a little bit more mindful of position in the court. No left. Oh, that's pretty harsh, Joey. You go for the man, not for the ball. <laughs> I think that's, that's review. or review. Oh. I, I mean, have a look at this, Joe. I reckon. Accept the review. Four one. Well, he's a he's a very well mannered young man. He accepted Ralph Harrenberg. I, I think he was a little bit harsh. Well, the thing is, when a guy's trying to go through and his playing arm or shoulder is impeded as he goes through, then it, it just Five requires one. a bit of common sense. Nice. Uh, there you go. Hand out. Two five. For me, it was more the low kill before that that set it up from the Egyptian. It's, I mean, Abu Elgar, for me, is playing his best squash when, uh, just as you mentioned it, Joe, when he's hitting through the front wall, just keeps pounding through the front wall and then uses those subtleties with his body strength and power to bring a, a cross variation that doesn't need to open it up so much. Well, he said... Uh, after his first match, you know, he played his idol here a few years ago, which was Omar Shabana, the maestro, and that's the man to kind of learn from. Shabana could finish the ball better than anyone, but uh, his general length and width and depth was uh, lethal, Johnny, and that's what enabled him to be so good at the front as well. It's a great shot. It's a great shot, a nod of the head from Gaultier. I mean, it's three five. It's not a terrible shot from Gaultier behind the service box. You sure that was a nod of the head, or? Yeah, yeah. it was an acknowledgement. Okay.
Brown. So first unforced error from the general. Abuel Gaz just making his way back after things just got away from him a little bit at the start. 5-1. So it's a good, really good answer. Needed to. Oh my goodness me, that is a finish and a half. That needs to be flagged for sure. Hand out. Oh. He, was, he actually had to play around oh. Abuel Gaz. Then. I know. It was oh, a great this. shot. <laughs> that was slick. Yeah. That's down, yeah. Hand out. Five, six. I mean, it's been spoken about quite a bit, Joey, as we know. The Goltier has been out for quite some time. So Abu Elgar needs to, especially in his first game, you really feel he needs to inject some of those longer rallies that we've seen already with 70, 100 metres covered. That's exactly what he needs. Yeah, I agree with you as well. I mean... Still the longest rally we've had so far was the second rally at 1 minute 17 and then you've got really on average probably around about 35 second rallies on average so far after that one. Oh that's, that's painful. It is painful because it was loose and it deserved to be finished. Or hit with a margin, just a slight margin, just get it Get, lock it into the wall and make Galtier go and play that from an awkward position. She was. Galtier's. Have a look at this here. It's, it, it's actually on second thoughts. The uh, it jagged out off the sidewall, so the quality was not good enough on that volley drop. That's why Galtier didn't review it. Joey, that some of Greg's movements are just not as smooth as what we'd expect. You can see it. I mean, he's still a great player, even if he is slightly below his best anyway, so. Oh, no, he's not nowhere near 100%. Yeah, I'd so say I would give him 70% coming into this event, maximum. But his movement will get better and better as this is good though. go through. It's good patience here from the Egyptian. Working Gaultier well, corner to corner. Gaultier is having to really yeah. claw these balls back. Nice shot from Gaultier. Just well, didn't quite get what he wanted to do there, but. That's an unbelievable game. And that is two. Oh my word. <laughs> oh, this is a heavy rally this now. This is a heavy rally. I definitely would like to see the meters covered by Greg on this one. Tight. Oh, it's loose. It's looking a bit. Yeah. Oh, he's, oh, oh, he's just, just had caught, him on the way through. Yeah, his calf. Just got his calf there. It's nasty. Unintentional, obviously. Wow. Well, Gaultier, hopefully he's okay. We'll check that out. But it's uh, this was the the clip on the calf. Happens a lot, just in the belly. Can we see as he goes through there? One minute, 32 seconds for that last help. rally. Oh, 
Hand out. Eight, seven. You're asking for a let? Yes, please. No let. Why not? Can we change this? Same situation as the last one. Which last one, Joey? Hand out. Same situation. I don't know, it just needs to get some clarity here. I mean, we're referring yes. to what? Service, Rally was a minute and a half. Well, we're having a real breakage here of uh, getting court service. Gaultier is wet everywhere. He's just clutching his calf. Referee asking if he's okay. He obviously is, otherwise Matthew Benoit would probably be looking at that. Just a bit of a dead calf. Well, Johnny, the 144 metres covered in that last rally, that 1 minute 32 second rally. 1 minute 43 for the, sorry, 1 metre 43.5. So both guys pretty much equal on the distance covered, but that's a uh, fair amount to be Thank lunging you. in. They've had a good rest though. <laughs> yeah. Hand out, 8-7. Yeah, uh, we've had longer than a minute, minute, and a minute and a half after this rally now, so... Um, Abu Elgar's concentration and awareness is going to be really tested here because Galtier is Eight, seven. pretty cagey from him here at this stage of the game to he's just really control the tempo of what's happening. He's got that, but he's on the floor and he's not getting up. He's lost his footing a lot on this court. Hand out, eight all. And it's packed, as Johnny said, the back stand. It's slightly warmer in this. Oh, goodness me. That, if anything's going to test that leg, it's that split lunge. Oh, every time I see it, it makes me feel quite queasy. Nice bit of hold from a wild guy. He's playing well here, Johnny. He certainly is. Yeah, this is... Uh, Crowd's somewhat subdued, actually. They don't. And look, that's a, that's a bit of a dodgy movement there from the general, Joey. Nine eight. Abu Elgar's got to take some mental notes here because he is actually commanding this part of the uh, of Down. the game. And there we go. Well, he's looking shaky eight. here, Gregory Gaultier. Last two movements, and it's two game balls for the bullet. It is, yeah, I like that. I like that name. I thought he might have sort of some oh, kind of... Thank you. Oh, Joey, that's just... That's what I'm Hello. talking about. It just Nine, ten, cannot afford ball. that, really. No, no. If, uh, why, why why, just hit it so close to the line? I mean... He's got his tail up again, Gautier. Yeah, oh yes, look goodness, at that. Really. How good is that? Oh, look and at look that. that. Oh, Talking oh, the tail oh, up. Oh, the chink oh, comes oh, out. Oh, starts oh, to look oh, like the Joker oh, out of oh, Batman. Has one review available. I do love that. I've missed it's that the last few it's months. It's a peacock strut. <laughs> I've <missed> brilliant. it. <laughs> well, Gaultier's fist pumping every time now. 11, 10. Straight game through ball. to game ball. And it was all because of the lax error from the young Egyptian. Oh, he's got it. Right, that was a very subtle drive at the body there through the middle. Well, guys, he's just loosened up here a bit. He's lost his line. Oh. There's another run for us. We've seen That's a few a of those. Miss, she was that was a big miss. Gautio's banking on finishing the rally on that shot. 11 all. And unfortunately, losing the rally. Defensive work there from Abuelgo. He's really powerful on his back foot on the forehand side. 
Some working goals here. It's opened up. Oh. Oh, was that up? Yeah, it was. That one oh, as that well. That was dodgy. And not that one. Oh. What about that? Awesome squash. Awesome. Yeah, I mean, this was ridiculous from Abuelga. He's not happy about... Saying well, his name wrong, by the way. 11, it's Abuelga. So, Abuelga. He's known as Abu. Like our man, the Abu, Adam Abu Talib. Absolutely. I wonder if, he play, if he's watching Squash TV. He does, he watches what a lot. What a character. Well, his father was uh, he said, three oh, times gee. British Open champion. Sorry, Joey, I've was got my hand, or three? my hand on my forehead because I just don't understand why this young man just can't hold it together when he most he just needs to the most. Hand out, 12 all. You just feel that now the opportunity's back for Gaultier. He's going to close this one out in the tie break. Set off already for that in anticipation, Gaultier. It's a great counter, it's tight, he's lifted it out. Gaultier's having to dig into all of his wiliness and this caginess, which is not something that he's even used to really because he's just powers through early round opponents normally, but this is a different situation here. Oh, it's a great drive, but he's... Oh, that's, have a listen to that, that is... I know, it's a roar. It's a real deep, thunderous, roar. thunderous roar. I know it is. 13, 12, game over. Oh, it's great. <laughs> this is great stuff. This is awesome. Terrific first game. What a treat. Sets the tone of the evening. So game ball. Impressive stuff from the Egyptian. It's kind of on his shoulders, really. He either wins or loses the rallies in the last stage of this first. He's going to give it a stroke. stroke. It's unbelievable. Player review, Abu Elgar, for the stroke position. I've come to the conclusion that he is getting quite edgy on the game balls, Joey, because that he, this, the cross court that went through the middle was just really strange. That's a 100% stroke there. So we're back to 13 all, unless something very strange happens. <laughs> and it has been known to at this event in the last couple of days, but I don't know why we... Having a few looks at this. I mean, we don't have. It is pretty straightforward. There we go. Stroke to Gauthier, decision upheld. Abu Elgar has no reviews remaining. Hand out, 13 all. 20 minutes. Really good from Abu Elgar's perspective that it's 20 minutes long and hard working and. Oh, he's done it again. He's just come up with just absolute brilliance in the front corner. Both it's been the backhand and then the forehand. Yeah, it's a joke shot. He's leaning. He was standing up one leg there as he played that. Very expressive. I'm losing how many game balls he's had now. Here this we go. Be. Here we go. Goltier's under the pump here. It's a great shot. Good variation here from the Egyptian. Oh, he's, he's got him. He's done him there. 15, 13. Game to Awerga. Awerga <laughs> lead. One game to left. It's not just me that's struggling to pronounce his name. I don't know what Ralph Harenberg was calling him. 22 minutes, unbelievable first game. Back and forth in the tie break, but it, the young Egyptian holds off the general. He leads by one game to love. Yeah, what a fantastic start to the quarterfinals. Packed house, 550 spectators. This event is really hotting up now, and early on the squash was very lengthy, engaging rallies. To be expected, Greg Goldtier wanted to test the mettle of his young opponent.
Abuelga leads one game to left. Lavo. Well, here we go. And Abuelga finds himself in somewhat unfamiliar territory, perhaps. A really brutal first game, which he's got the better of. And against somewhat reduced Gregory Goltz here. It's, we've seen it with his movement, especially towards the end of the game. When he was caught out of position, that renowned explosiveness is not quite there. Down. There it is again, and Goltier just coming out of that movement a little bit ginger. And Abu Elgar is a man on a mission, One Joey. Left. He's prowling about the back of the court like a, like a lion. It's an unforced error. This is, I said unfamiliar territory for Abu Elga, but it's unfamiliar territory for Greg Goltier as well, the general, in, a, in an event, 100K quarterfinals. <laughs> oh, he's just sliced it out of thin air. And out. One, two. Well, that last rally is three seconds. It's a toughie. Here. Fortune, there's a, it's, it's two unforced errors. This is Three, it's two. the one thing that just keeps plaguing Abu Elgar's game. He sort of manages to get a couple of points up and he started really strong and then he hands back the lead to Goltier. It's down, I think. Yep. Thank you. So it's three unforced errors. The Bulgars. 4-2. Must respond now. He's really got to cut out the unforced errors and just go back to a more basic structure and put the pressure on Goltier down the lines. He's strong enough with his general form of play when he's just, especially out of the back four inside, when he's really staying active and holding his shots and using his tremendous power and strength to just generate speed. Galt is clearly, clearly off with shots like that. That's Three, very four. uncharacteristic. Johnny, here's your money on, mate. Tough call. I'm going to stick with what I know. The gold here will find a way. No let. Player review, Georgie, on the no let decision. We watching the uh, slow motion. We're watching the slow motion. So let's have a look at the slow motion. Well, dun, 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 this dun, dun. is uh, going to be played when James plays. <laughs> <laughs> Old uh, beginning of Darth Vader, if he's going to be breathing like he did last night. I mean, <laughs> do you think this is a no let? Uh, second bounce just in front of the tee. Yeah, it stays as a no let. It was a tricky one. Tricky, tricky. No let. The fifth and a But he has no reviews remaining. Probably the loosest shot that's Four all. gotten away is that he's won the point when he, on, on the reviews. We haven't seen something like that for a while. But he's 
down again. He's and out. Five, four. So we'll have a look after this one. This is a bit of a lung opener, this one, Joey. And it's another unforced error. It's, it's an illness. Big it's an ball. illness that he can't shake. I spoke about it in his first match. And this is really, this is his moment. I mean, he's been working his way up the ladder. He's knocking on the door. He's ready to go through. He's only holding himself back, really, with... He hasn't asked Greg Goltier to do anything special to get to 6 4 here. Goltier's. You, know, he's, you can. In the front of the court, he's not. He hasn't got that trademark Five, strength six. that we're used to. He's not lifting the ball high enough. So we just crossed the half an hour mark in this match. So it was, yeah, the, pre the previous rally, and then up the 10th rally in the second game was 56 seconds, just under a minute. And both players doing around the 80 metre mark. And this is exactly the recipe that I'm sure Arma Shabana would be advising his protege to inject into the game right now. This is the time. This is his match to win, Joey. All loose. Completely, yeah. He's got that feeling unless Gaultier really starts to get that movement back. Well, I don't think it is going to come back. And you see there again, he's just he's feeling awkward. He's uncomfortable. And we know that when Greg's not happy with his body, he's not feeling good out there. And he's going, I mean, the only way Greg Gaultier is going to win this is by grinding it out tonight, which he can also do. Goltz has not even gone for that. He was left stranded on the tee. Seven, six. It's the first time we've seen him try to use an angle at front and he was not interested in that front corner there. Oh, great work from um, Abu Elgar there, picking up some tough balls to get. It's a little bit loose. Now he's got some... Yeah. Well done by Goltier. He's buried that in the back corner. He's just clinging on, Head Joey. Out. Clinging on. Seven. Oh. to get a bit more whip on that. Oh, Gaultier is doing some work in this rally. Oh, is he what? He's fighting, though, the general, which is great to see. And oh, again. never seen him like this. This is good pressure. Great never, pressure. Never seen the general like this. Under so much pressure. It's, it's very evident. Oh, that the the talk movements. about all-court squash. Not 100% from Gaultier, far from it, but he's working. He's gutsing this out, Johnny. Oh, wow. Oh, this is a joke. Oy, oy, oy. That was brutal. Alwa. Listen to the crowd on that one. <laughs> 52 seconds. Eight, Johnny, this is how quick that rally was. 
52 seconds. The players covered 90 metres in 52 seconds each. We go back early in the game. We we had a 56 second rally, which was only 66 and yeah, 70 well, metres. Yeah, that shows so the speed of that. Intense. Intensity. Brutal. That's what Greg, exactly <laughs> what Greg saw the fist pump on. again <laughs> from Gaultier. Oh. Cheeky pump. Just lobbed it up. He knew that Abu Olga, God, I can't even say his <laughs> name now. You have to lashing Abulga. me about it. It's Abu Olga. We're going to have to talk to all the referees no, and I everybody, the whole community. No, I know what it is. I know, just I'm trying to say it properly. He knew he was going to go for that last one. You can see him lifting a few here again, you reckon? Like that? Oh, he's definitely he said. <laughs> oh, wow! Do drop in, son. <laughs> Do drop in. Hand out. That was Massive. hit Nine, like eight. a bullet by the bullet. <laughs> Dead as a dodo. Things are hotting up. Big time here. Oh, ho, ho. wow. <laughs> Nick's R us from hey, Abu Elgar. Smooth operator, the business end of this second. Two game balls for a two love lead against the general. Invisible attempt at the uh, subtle kill there from Goltier. Abu Elgar was equal to it though. He's on a roll here. Oh, look at that. That is just absolute perfection. This is unbelievable. The bullet is seriously back with a bang. In the first of the quarterfinals this evening, 36 minutes of blistering squash between these two. Gaultier, certainly not 100%, but goodness me, the bullet, Abu Elgar, is playing off his rocker. He leads two games to love. Well, we're just trying to recover from the hat-trick of blistering points from Abulgar. He is just on fire tonight. He was fighting with his own demons early in the game. He was managing to sneak in front, but then he would follow that up with unforced errors, which seemed to be keeping Goltier in the game. And you can see there in the replay that Goltier's movement is suffering, but that was... Abu El Ghali, two games to left. Love off. Well, Johnny, can we see a return of the French general in this match? Oh, my. You get, oh, I thought he was going to get that. That was rapid. That was seriously rapid. Hang down. One left. I can't see it right now, Joey. I can't see him returning from here. Just too unconvincing. Body language. Trademark. 
split movements to the front I don't have the same energy as what we're used to. Well, I disagree with you. I disagree with you. I think he will return into this Good match. Luck. I don't know if he'll convert, but he certainly will return. He's not gonna. He's not gonna lie down. He's gonna go into French bulldog mode. No, I can. I just can. I'm just watching him. It's just uh, his mannerisms are so open usually in terms of if he's struggling and not really interested. Hand out. One, two. Does need a good start though, Johnny. Just you just keep going for him. He's not gonna stop. Lays <laughs> it in so well. Just great speed. He's he's moving as smooth and as strong as he was in the first rally. This is a barrage. Oh, this is powerful. Multiple bullets. Yeah. <laughs> Just overhit the. Oh, oh he's got away. the arrow there. Galtier overhit the reverse post actually. Was, was the right solution if it stayed low, Three, but it just sat up one. and then Abu Elgar just muffed it right at the end there. He what? Sorry? Messed it up at. Uh, Sorry, it's a Aussie idiom. You're not used to them, are you? <laughs> Pardon my French. Just left. Why? Contact. <laughs> <laughs> Ralph Ehrenberg has the innate ability to just say one word and that explains everything, Joey. 3-1. Come on. Thank you. Do you think Ralph enjoys the comic side of his position in the, in the uh, referee chair? Oh, yeah, definitely. He's got oh, it. he got that oh, somehow. Look at that. Oh, he's got that too. That's <laughs> wow. Hand out. Two, three. There's no, there's no signs at all of the Egyptian slowing oh, down. Brilliant. He's bouncing. He's high on the tier. I think he could be right, Johnny. I mean, it's his back and forth. It's very hard to to call, but Gaultier looking a bit shaky on that last one. Just these sprint lunges that Abu is oh. doing, followed up like that. I mean, there's not much Gaultier can really do Four, about this three. when he goes into this bullet mode. Out. And then he, then he goes into <laughs> hand out. peanut mode. Four, but four. I mean, you... Uh, if you're a Gaultier fan, you'd really want to see a few more unforced errors from Abu Elgar. He just can have those that's laps. Oh, that's, that's the Gaultier trademark sort of shot. Yeah, been, it's a great shot. We've been waiting for that because they've not been going all night, but he Five, needs to four. come up with some solutions like Stepping that. Stepping into that one. Add a couple of unforced errors and then things can turn, no doubt. Far from over this. I'll tell you what, if Gaultier does take this third game, I reckon he'll dislocate his jaw in celebration. <laughs> Not if he doesn't run for those. No, I know. Well, it's up and down, isn't it? I mean, it's, there's times where Can't he's way off from that. Gaultier just saying about he's already had some big slips. He was uh, not too keen on going for a lunge on that one. Thank you. And now, five all. Well, Is that would uh, fool the best movers please, in the world please, anyway. Quickly, quickly on the right hand side. Sit down, please. 
in the black coat. Sit down. Thank you. Six, five. Commander in chief in yes, the uh, referee's chair. I can't swing. Player review, Abulga on the yes left decision. What do you think here, Joey? Has Ab Abulga got I a think chase? That's, I think it's a let ball. Yeah. I think that's a let. Yes, left. Decision upheld. Abu Algar has no reviews remaining. 6 5. Down. Oh, that's, oh, that's a big miss. I didn't miss. expect that either. No, I know. He was way out of Seven, position there. Five. Abu Algar. Sure, somebody's just shouting out, come on, General. Very un Swiss like. Oh. Hand out. French. Six, seven. What's he saying there? Ale, come on. Well, the rest of it, yeah, exactly. What does that mean? I have no idea. Don't speak French. Well, Gaultier's making his move. Look at this, wow. Joey. Look there at this. <laughs> he's Have coming. Look at him. He's coming. He's, uh, he's coming back down oh. the hill. The <laughs> French general. He's come straight into the battlefield. <laughs> oh. Oh. oh, this is unbelievable. Oh. Here we go. Wow. Here we go. Eight, it's been seven. dodging bullets like there's no tomorrow. Now he's taking them all on the chest. <laughs> he's got a bulletproof vest on. No. He's just taking them on the oh, chest. Oh, wow. That is a oh. great shot. We're going to have whatever happens in the back end of this Hello. third. It's going to be tremendously exciting, Eight Johnny. Ball. It's a macho fest now. <laughs> Absolute macho fest. Both of them trying to outdo the other one. It's great to see the general has woken up out of his slumber. Another great finish on the back end. Opens it up. really going to retire Joey? No, no, please please. don't. He can't retire. Look at this. Joke shot but this is what it's all about. Look at that afterwards. That's going to loosen up the body. Oh my That is a new me. dance move. That next, is. next week that is a new dance move. That's the French hacker. <laughs> this is going for a video review. You're asking for a review? Yes. Obviously he is. You're asking or not? Yeah, yeah. Of course he is. Player review, Gautier on the stroke decision. I, I, think to see the I, I need to see the sky view on this. One, two, he's, the ball is a long way away. Ball is a long way away, Joey. The ball is a long way away, but it does not matter. Remaining. Hand out. Nine. All. The uh, cooking from upstairs in the VIP area is just wafting over us. Sure, the players can smell that as well. Oh, he's, he's got, got it. it. Oh, he, this is just pushing through, isn't he? Oh. Quality's gone up a mile here. Just overhit that slightly. Tremendous to see from the general here. Just massive push back into this third game.
Still in the rally. <laughs> oh, this is a... This is Outrageous squash. Oh, wow! Acknowledged by Gaultier. Skills again. Left box. Please. Oh, my word. That was like Ten a short nine. game. He's leant back. One minute, 13 Left seconds. Ball. It just added to the effect by leaning back and dancing a little bit as he left his position there, Abulgar. The incredible it's shot. One minute, 13 seconds. Abulgar covered 130 metres in that rally. Match ball for the bullet. How's he got that cross? <laughs> Goltier just throwing everything oh! other than the kitchen sink at him. Oh, he's missed it! And now, can all. Oh, look at it! It's amazing! How does he do it? Joey, we should be prime time here. Oh, man, I'll tell you what, my heart rate, I'd love to have a heart rate monitor on. I think I've just had a minor coronary. As did Abu Elgar as he missed that, just <laughs> oh, wincing in it. pain he was. Oh, I want more. I want He's more. got to go to four games at least, surely. Oh. Oh, Golti has stopped. Suddenly he's picking oh, He's yeah, just left played. himself. Very well played. Held his nerve Head there. Down. 11, 10, Met ball. Second match ball for the bullet. Wow. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. It was called cool out. Whoa, whoa. Look at it. Look at it. It's out. <laughs> look at it. No angle. You have no angle to look about it. What do you mean? Oh. My decision is made. The ball is out. That's, well, from that angle, there is no angle. Oh. It looks like we have no angle. Yeah, out. but it was a good all. explanation there from Ralph Harenberg. Very clear cut to the players. So, still life in this match. Still life in the old Diag. Let's hope there is. So the no let being given, Gregory Fulcier has got the crowd right behind them, obviously. Well, oh, behind him, sorry. Game ball. And it's a game ball to take this into a fourth. I don't, I've never witnessed such entertainment when I've been sitting here, Joey, in the, uh, at, a, at a match. Certainly not the Grasshopper Cup. This game has been absolute, has had everything that you could wish for it to have. Locked oh, down. That was oh, so oh. smooth. So How smooth. Casual. Do you want to be? Maybe he should be called the bullet talent because no, he's oozing no, no, talent. That's, that's weird. Oh my just goodness. The bullet. What about that? He's just had a thirteen. Just, I mean, I can't. It's got it all. Here. He's ball. just served an ace against Gaultier for his third match ball. Not the bullet talent, Johnny. That's odd. Just the bullet. Galtier has dug himself a hole with that miss. He's now got to find his way back from another oh, match ball. Oh, this! Oh, yeah. oh, brilliant! Doesn't want to do too much of that. He might trap a nerve. <laughs> Mathieu Benoit has his work cut out enough <laughs> with Galtier's body. Oh. We see this head nod there. It really is going into the capitulum area. <laughs> the Down. 
There's the error. And what about the yes? He's been, he's been waiting for that error. He's had to soak up some of the most outrageous shot play from Bulgar. Oh, it's a great shot. That's <laughs> such a joke shot. Oh, I mean, of all the shots to play, 14, why, why would you do that? Well, you would if you won the rally. Well, you, you would. would if you're a, a Bulgar because he just keeps <laughs> doing it all the time. He's not going to stop. Nolte is under the oh, pressure again. The pressure He's digging and digging. Oh, what a top spin oh. drop. He got it. That's a stroke. Look at that. This is this is entertainment plus. Oh, we're spoiled rotten here. Everyone's being sport rotten. And, out, and of course it involves 15, 14, the French general. Yeah. Well he's the leading right he's the leading star of any squash movie, really, of Joey. He, is. he was a star of Treasure Island. He's winning an Oscar here. He's Academy Award performance, really. I'd say this is more Phantom of the Opera, <laughs> but so we're in. Oh, he's done him again. Oh. He's done him again. Yeah, it just, it just, it, it does it in a way that's Hand just out. a bit different to everyone 15. else. I mean, the way the ball oh. dies, it. I don't. I can't explain it. I remember seeing him play Ramesh Shaw at the British Open, and he went two games to love up, and he just. Oh, well, he was doing somewhat something like this, I imagine. Completely. Gee whiz, he did well to get that off. He's had to dig again. He's been doing a lot of that in the back half of this game. Oh, well straightened. Oh. oh, the kill, but it just popped up a bit. Oh, he's no not going to get a let there. That's just, I don't think he's going to get a let, Joey. I think this is actually a pretty good decision by Ralph Harenberg. There's an inside line. It's a bit of hold and then drop in the swing of Gaultier that stops Abuel got. For me, I think that's a good decision. He's got to go and play this. What do you think? Do you think? I think he needs, from this angle, it. Let's have a look from here. There's an, I thought there was an inside line. <laughs> Gaultier. Yeah, I think there's a bit of an inside line there. But the uh, video ref's having a long look at this one. That's what I. Uh, that's what I felt was coming because he was looking Get at it left. for such a long time. But Abuelgar, there was a decision earlier in the game where Abuelgar asked for a let and didn't get one, and now we've gone a different tack with that one. Change of course, not good from a consistency standpoint. What a game of squash. And there's the error. There's the error. Well, Gaultier's music to the ears living, of Gaultier. Still living from now. those. You've got to feel for uh, game ball. Rami Ashore. He's just <laughs> warming up around our commentary area. I mean, literally, this could go two ways. Can Gaultier take it into a four? I think he can, Joey. I think he does it here. It was set up for him. It was set up. It couldn't have been any easier for his quality. Oh. Yeah, he had the perfect angle to work I'll with. I'll tell him. you what, Apple was flying after that one. He was charging forward. He's going to be, now Gaultier is going to be exactly and he's got a strong argument Joey yeah big time he's got a massive this argument he's got a massive case here I mean this is not a no let no it's come, it's come back a long way it has to be a let I don't know it's a no let 
Second bounce just in front of the short line. It's We've seen Aberwellgar kill the ball a lot shorter than that. Well, he's been consistent. Yeah, the line's been held. The line's been held, has to be said. A few Swiss French in the crowd. They want to see more of this, Joey, as do we. Oh, the goal to drop shot. He, somehow he got it up. Great. And that's oh, a great shoot. That's a great uh, straight in there. Tight. Hand out. 17-16. 17, 16. 17 16. Game ball. This was the Borg McEnroe tiebreak of 1980 went 18 16. Is this the one, Joey? Tell me. That's tennis. <laughs> He's got it. He got it. He got it. He got it. Oh, he's not got that one. Sorry. And <laughs> out. Johnny keeps stepping on my feet. Oh, I just, I can't take many more of this. God knows what Ralph Harenberg's going through. I bet his uh, blood pressure is higher than the usual. This is from the records in your hand. Thank you. Yeah. He doesn't need to make a comment about the racket scenario there, Ralph. What's I mean, all that about? I don't know. Let's just focus on this epic. It is an epic game. Epic game. Johnny, I mean, just... Great kill. Great cross court kill. Maybe it's this time. <laughs> I reckon it is because the head no. knock, he's just 18, tweaked himself seven, again. 17, <laughs> It's this time. This is the time, Johnny. Well, the osteopath has got a lot of work it's, it's to do with the back time. of Goltier's neck. Look at that. There's somebody that does an amazing... It sounds like they're miles away, their voice, when they're calling out for Goltier. It's brilliant. It's like man in the box. He's got a chance. Video referee decision oh, Massive handball there from Ralph Ehrenberg downstairs. Yeah, he's absolutely... <laughs> Headbutted the video oh, ref here. He, Golti had the forehand side was open for the winner here. As we take a look, Abuelgar was trapped on the wrong side. But I mean, was he ready to play? I mean, was he ready to play? He was going at a rocket. Benefit yes, of the doubt. Safety given, yeah. Safety, I'm at right box, please. Video ref's been very solid the last phase of this, uh, well I say, I mean, it, we're nearly into a second game of the tie break, the way the score's going. Down there it is. He's made the error, there Gaultier salute. The crowd going nuts. The crowd go nuts. nuts. Brilliant. Brilliant, you just can't write it. Always drama with great, 62 minutes. People are smashing glasses galore in celebration here in Zurich. 62 <laughs> minutes, and it's Abu Elgar that leads the general now by two games to one. The battle is on. Well, that, viewers, was possibly the greatest single game of squash in the Grasshopper Cup in its history because Greg Goltier and Abu Elgar, they put on an absolute exhibition of all-court blinding squash there was everything to see. There was kills from, and, and great skills from Abu Elgar. There was incredible retrievals from Goltier. All of the guts and determination that he had to show, he maintained his level. And after numerous game balls to both of them, in the end, Goltier finally managed, finally, to break through in 1917. Can he keep going and keep this crowd in raptures? <laughs> Check out the distance covered. That is unbelievable. Goodness me, for that singular game, of <laughs> look at the amount of distance that was covered. I mean, you say a singular game, it was nearly two games, wasn't it? 1,024 metres for the young Egyptian. That has to eat into his body. Has to. That is amazing. Well, it's no doubt it's eating into the body of the French general as well, Joey. But the general's got the experience. He has got the experience. Will we see the other side of the coin with the, 
the bullet starts to find the tin a little bit more because certainly wasn't making uh, that high an error count considering he was taking the ball short like completely and utterly fearless. So good to see Gaultier battle in there. There's been times, obviously, when he's he's not been able to fight back and he's not wanted to fight back. But that was, I mean, that's veteran stuff, isn't it? Veteran warrior. Well, you mentioned it in the lead up. Top five in the world in November 2006. And there was just one year where his rankings just slipped to number six, by the way. Just for <laughs> a few months, slipped, six, slipped one spot. And there it is. He hasn't started really strongly in well, any no. game in this match, Joey. <laughs> yes. Oh, goodness. I'd say Matthew Benoit was he's pulling his hair out, but he hasn't got any. And yeah. there's the errors. Yeah. That was on his racket. Gaultier Pull struts out. again. Crowd getting involved. There's mostly we can hear cries of Ale and French support, but there's a few Abus being called out as well. Gaultier, just nice down. friendly tap there. One, two. Tiny bit of gamesmanship creeping into proceedings as well. Great to see. Squash theatre at its best tonight. If you've just tuned in, don't go anywhere because you've missed classic three games three, so far in this match. One. Game three will be marked, that's for sure, to be flagged as a free game at some point, I imagine. Oh, there you go. Goltier giving Abuelgo a bit of his own medicine there on the forehand side because he's watched a few of those sail out tonight. You, you mentioned it, Joey, that it's just it's not just uh, the physical fatigue, but the mental fatigue because Abuelgo was just burning on adrenaline and now it's just been taken away from him. I just, well, I'm, just I'm letting you talk, uh, Johnny. I mean, I'm just kind of just watching this as a... Squash enthusiast, just enjoying it. I mean, I just... He's 35 years of age, Gaultier. He's just come back from a abductor tear. And he's playing like... Oh. oh, he's a warrior. He's a French warrior. Oh. Just clipping the top of the tin. Shot was and on, though. Two, five. Well, he's, if he can get his body back in full working order, there's no reason why he can't carry on playing another two or three years like this because Roger oh. Federer is doing it. And and it's, a, it's the renaissance of ageing athletes at this, in this period. We've, we've seen with the, with the sports science today, players are able to keep, or athletes are able to keep going longer. And when you look after yourself like Greg Goltier has, still got a way to go, I'd say. Just had such a such a unfortunate season with the injuries, and he's just still back in this mix. And he's squeezing all the time now. So the last two rallies have just been very accurate, Seven. solid. Closing down the court here, Gaultier. Forehand Ultra. side now, backhand side. He's 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 a different animal on there compared to what we saw in the first game. It's all starting to click for him. It's like Abuelgo's brought the best out of Gaultier. Eight, two. Maybe it was the roars in the third game, and it just drove Goltier to. He just had to. He just had to get involved, didn't he? he? Just it was like the perfect moment for him to perform. Great pick up with the slide. That's a stroke. Oh, it was good. Okay. Video referee, have we a chance to watch that right-hand side ball close to the out line? No chance. Decision. Stroke to Gautier. Left box. Nine, two. The ball was good. It wasn't a stroke. 
and Goltier has just completely cut through Abu Elgar in this game and he's just as he likes to say he's going Andy down the autobahn Andy. Joey at 200 k's an hour in his Ferrari he's on the slopes mate I was just seeing him on the slopes <laughs> he's just flying down the slopes Gaultier, he's on the mountain and he's certainly on a high as well and out it's seven game balls to take this Three, into a fifth and final ten. game ball for the French general couldn't be anything other than a fifth and final game. The match just deserves it. It's really been a classic encounter. So let's. Number Wellgard's just uh, continuing to play his very, very positive form of play from all parts of the court. He won't be stopped. <laughs> Exhibition. Oh, nice, nice, nice. There he goes. French general commanding the court, commanding the crowd. Really back with a bang. It's uh, been advertised all over the PSA social media channels. The uh, return of the French general, he is returned. 17 minutes for this quite outrageous match. It's now two games all. Oh, Rami Ashour just uh, being the the great gentleman that he is, he's assisting his compatriot Abu Elgar now, giving him a pep talk because he's going to need it after that epic third game where Abu Elgar had many match balls and couldn't close it out. The mental drain upon him was quite obvious as he went into a series of unforced errors, but well forced by the general, he was closing the court down, squeezing him both sides, gave him no opportunities to play the style of game that he wanted. And there we go, like a conductor of a magnificent performance, Gregory saying, let's go to a fifth game. Well, the uh, first rally of that, well, the longest rally you can see there, 35 seconds. Apart seconds. from that, they're averaging around about 10 or 11 seconds per rally after that, Johnny. And that just shows. Yeah, that longest rally there, 143 and 144 was that's a highlights real package within itself. Players ready to play in 30 Games all. Good here to serve. Love all. So big hello to my South African buddy Adrian Hansen, Leggy. He's tuning in and enjoying this classic encounter here in Zurich. Just the opening match, uh, Joey. I'd like to remind you. It's unfair on the other three matches to have to live up to this one. Goltier has gone into autopilot world number one here because he was looking uncomfortable early in the uh, match well and the impact of having spent so much time out of the game was, was clear to see and he somehow dug into his deep reserves of experience and wealth of power to somehow pull this out of the fire. creating the legend isn't it well just adding to it really yeah adding to it and dodgy bouncy off the sidewall Goltier's his line hitting Joey considering just remembering how he we know that he's not feeling comfortable um, First unforced like that we've seen for a while. One all.
So is there another twist to the plot here, Joey? Is there something unexpected about to unravel before us? Is it possible? Played both. He's, he's really taken control of the work load the, and the work rate Goltier is making Abu Elgar. That could be a stroke, Joey. Yes, let. Why? Why? Well, it's definitely a let at the very minimum. Yeah, he has not clear your access to the ball. That, that's an interesting explanation. You did not clear your access to the ball. If we watch here, that ball popped oh, no. out. The only thing that saved Abu Elgar is perhaps that the ball was quite short. But it was loose. Trademark Goltier cross court kill. Hidden away, but Abu has been up to the task all night long. And oh, look at the yeah. squeezing, squeezing. Many of the fans obviously watching this are able to see this live. I mean, you're Too being warm. treated to the ultimate. Anyone that's having problems with their body as well, take inspiration from the 35 year old French general. He's been plagued with injury this 2017 18 season, and he is battling away here. against one of the up-and-coming players on the PSA World Tour, the bullet. It's going to be a stroke. Three, one. It's kind of weird after that third game, really, because it was just so exciting. And there's a real lull, and not helping the lull is Four, the fact that Abu Elgar has completely gone wayward here. Absolute walkabout. I mean, you've got to take your hat off to the 35-year-old French champion. He's just... He found the extra gear to dig himself out of an enormous amount of trouble. That two love down and... He's maintaining a rate and control around the middle, which is going to be hard, hard, very hard for the best player in the world to stop. Down. There's another unforced. It's a, just an absolute. It's pouring with unforced right. errors here, well, Joey. Yeah, but I mean that raining was to be expected, of course, the because of the the scarring of that third game, being so close to converting, but yet now so far away. Stop. Hey, come on. Yeah. The ball was down. Yes, I know the ball was down. Yeah, sorry, I was a bit late. <laughs> Hand out. Two five. Abu Elgar needs to mount the comeback now, Joey. It needs to begin right now with that unforced error from Golds here in the last rally, which has given him a look in. He's not going to get many of those. He's going to have to win the rallies and start working Golds here like he was doing early in the match. Well, he's got to cut those errors out, as you said, Johnny. That's uh, not rocket science, but... Like he's trying to repair the scars here. Oh, that looked dodgy. It's a dodgy pickup. Oh, Goltier's movement has improved. Of course it has. Even with it's got better, mate. It it's is. Got better. It got better as the match went on. Even though we've got we've had over 75 minutes now. Gregory Goltier is moving better than he did in the beginning, and that's the old engines getting going and the adrenaline surging and the. Everything's working. I mean, he's doing him a favour. 78 Head minutes out. of squash. Gregory Gaultier is looking even better out here. This is just what he needed. If he can convert this win against the bullet, then he will be a nightmare for the next round. He'll have confidence in himself. He's now feeling the court. He's feeling at home back on the glass court. Body's starting to work together. Balance is coming back. 
It's all about the balance. And look how, I mean, he's just, he's hitting the front wall. He's straight, straight. Unforced error there, but the structure of Goltier is just Hello. so solid. Three, pick. Crowd getting a little bit thirsty for some more action, Joey. They've been spoilt. When you spoil them, then they want more. And we've taken away the cookie jar at the moment, so they want to dip their hands again and get a taste of what we had in the third game. But Abu Elgar is not coming Hello. to the party right now. Seven, three. Abu Elgar is also just fall, he's fallen back in the court, Joey. He's lost all that. I mean, it's a mental scarring, like you said. He's lost that positivity to push up and volley and hunt the ball down. He's, he's not hunting anymore. No, I mean, his adrenaline's depleted. He's slightly flat and shell shocked. This has got to be uh, one of the most epic comebacks of this season. Well, Gaultier acknowledging, being very respectful Hello. as well, which is great to see from the general because full surge Four, into that. Considering everything with Gaultier. Talking about the court service there, considering everything with Gaultier coming back from that injury and, and, and coming back in this match, I mean, I think it's, well, it's certainly the best comeback for 2017 18. Any problem? No Season. doubt, no doubt. Play on, please. Four, seven. So, does Abu Elgar realise, for the crowd at least, he has a role to play here and he needs to up his game? Very tough task. In front of him, but he squeezed Goltier there. Yes, that's, yeah, he's that's got a, a line of length. Line of length there. Five, seven. He's coming back. He's responding. He is responding. Ralph shouting the uh, score out over the crowd noise, and it's opened up again. Down. There we go. Look at this. It turned. The momentum has turned a little bit here. And Goltier, Six, seven. who's been riding a wave, since the middle of the third game, all the way through to here, suddenly he's, have, he's having a bad patch himself. Committing unforced errors. It's good digging again from Abuelgar. He's getting under those invisible kills. Stroke, I think, Joey. Video referee decision. I think this could be a stroke. He's on, on it like a flash. Mr. Gutierrez appeal. Can't cross this. Don't think, as we have a look here, that Goltier. Oh, it's, it's can he cross it without hitting his opponent? Such and go, I would say. But the fact that the ball squirted out is not going to support Abu Elgar. No. Squirted Why? out. Wasn't straight enough. Oh, he's Drop furious, obviously, Abu Elgar there. Understandable. But the and stroke being given. Eight, six. The fact that the ball, as you said, Johnny squirted out. Didn't do the Egyptian any favours on that one. Two-point lead for Gaultier. Good pressure on the backhand side. Oh my goodness me, that's going to be a stroke. Well, there was uh, about a thousand years of ghosting experience here being on display. Incredible retrieving from the French general. Retrieving. Well, this is becoming nail biting once again, Johnny. Nail biting. Fantastic. That's what we want to see, Joey. It's over 80 <laughs> minutes for this. 
first quarter final. It's going to be close to a stroke as well. Yeah. Here we go, Joey. Eight all. So. Two all, eight all. Abu Alga has responded. He's got back into this big time. And Gautier's just ripped it off the serve. Which you talk ripped about. It off the serve. And you talk about it's got to be a good serve. And, and that wasn't it. Experience. Eight. That's experience. And that's a better serve, and it set it up, and well, that's going to be interesting. Gautier's going to review that. This, yeah. Review, well, it's worth a review. I completely agree with this. Definitely worth a review. Did Galtier, it's just Galtier's left leg, the trailing leg, did it, it stayed, stayed back and it certainly impeded Abu Elgar from getting through. The question is, could he have got it? Out of the, Video yes, ref has adjudicated that he could have. Remaining. Nine, Not too. Eight. We don't see too much uh, disappointment on the face of Galti there either. So, good serve. A lot of cut. Great right here. Oh, it's brilliant. Rip that cross court. <laughs> He's Kevin. putting his ear to the ground. Ball. Ralph Arenberg so excited. Ripped it again. So much pace on that cross score. He was committed at the front. Two match balls for the French general in this quarter final here. On. Yes, oh, I don't think you should Flair be reviewing review. this. I don't think you want to review this. On the yes, when your opponent is right on your shoulder, man hugging you, you don't want to review this. Oh, it's uh, let all day long. Exactly, so there's no point to review. No, but I mean, I suppose he's got no, you know, it's 10 8 match ball down. Not, he mean, might need it in, in the next two points. It's just not good enough, but it'll stay as a let. Yes, let. Decision of Pell. Abu Algar has no reviews remaining. 10 8, mid 4. Left side, please. It's going to be a long night, shall we? Two match balls once again for Gaultier. Galtier's powering through those cross courts. Video referee. <laughs> the still shot there of Galtier was field. worth its weight in gold. It was. Oh, I think that's got to be a photo. They want to want to frame that one. And knowing it's match ball as well just adds to the drama. Big time. <laughs> That's going to be any quicker to play it. What do you think, Johnny? Oh, goodness. There's, there's an argument that he might have clipped him on the backswing, Joey. There is an argument. Well, it's going to be a let ball. But yes, not yes. a strong enough argument, apparently. It's going to be a let ball. The drama continues. Match ball. Crowd are going to be so fatigued let alone the players. Good movement. Oh, he just keeps going for those straight kills, doesn't he? Doesn't matter. Match ball down, match ball up. Good whip. Oh, oh, 
missed it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. He just missed it. <laughs> He's having a laugh. I mean, Abu Elgar was Nine, nowhere near it. Gaultier played it. Ball. And it was there to play. Oh, just missed it. Top of the tin. It was a very, very ordinary nick attempt, but he's got away with it. Slipped a bit there. He's done it! He's done it! Gaultier, he's done an epic comeback! His brilliant comeback! Saving match balls in an unbelievable third game. Look at him, he's back. Character, 35 years of age. Has had a, an injury played, cursed season. And he's back with a bang. He really is. There's the salute from the general. Well, you've all been treated. I don't care if you're some of you aren't Gaultier fans. That is maximum, maximum respect. 90 minutes of drama beyond belief. Who needs a best of three when you've got that scenario going on? Three games to two. Absolutely superb. Gaultier makes it into the semi-final. The bullet unable to convert, but he'll be back once again. You said it, Joey. If it had been best of three, we wouldn't have had the third game. So the third, it was like a match of three parts. It was all Abu Elgar early on, hard grinding squash, and then the third game, a match in itself. And then Greg Goltier took control in the fourth and fifth games, but Abu Elgar mounted that comeback, which you could feel was going to happen. The match just sort of demanded it almost, and uh, some exciting rallies at the end. It was just a fantastic finish to a fantastic game of squash. All the attrib attributes on display. Greg Goltier, a true champion. What a match, what a comeback. Yeah, well, what can I say? Thank you. I, uh, you know, as I said yesterday, it's been the worst season so far, and uh, I've been, uh, I had like a lot of issues, and uh, I came here, you know, with no expectation. To be honest, I thought I would probably lose in the first round. Uh, having had uh, like four or five weeks of uh, doing no sport at all due to two tears in my adductor I did in, uh, during the to Tournament of Champions in New York in January. I came here with only 10 days in my legs and uh, but obviously, you know, uh, you, you, I've been playing for 30 years, of course, you know, I'm, I'm far from, for be from being at my top level uh, uh, fitness-wise, you know, but I just try to play as smart as possible and uh, to play the ball, you know, as tight as possible, to really be careful of my movement as well. It's, uh, it's been really hard. I came here and uh, every match has been helping me. And of course, you know, with a crowd like this that, you know, raise my confidence. And I mean, even if I, if I was two love down, eight love down or nine love down, I wanted to give every single, uh, you know, I wanted to give everything on each point, you know, and try to stick back to the score and, uh, once I got like that third game, you know, my lungs uh, started to open up a bit more. I was searching the red zone, you know, for two games. I couldn't breathe much and uh, I was just trying to hang in there and the pace was too fast for me because, as I said, I haven't played at all. But, uh, but then, you know, the more, I, the more I spend time on court, the more, you know, I start to see the ball better, the more I start to move better and understand the game better. So then it's all about confidence, you know. Uh, I've been playing for 30 years, I've been world number one many times, and that's probably the one, one of the reasons, you know, that made, made me win today, you know. It has nothing to do with uh, training preparation, but uh, just, just all in my head, and, and thanks so much for the crowd. I know, you know, it's been... I, uh, I, gave, I gave all I had today, you know, with the, with the list uh, I have in the tank, and, uh, but... Uh, I just enjoy myself on the court, you know. I, I know that there's not many years left for me, but I want to give it one or two big shots again and try to come back to my best. And, but I'm really thankful for you to have uh, helped me so much to, uh, you know, to enjoy today. Even if I'm in pain so much, I, you know, I enjoy as much as possible and want to give it to you. Thank you. Thank you, Nick. And of course, we enjoy you seeing every time you're here playing in Zurich. Thank you so much. Oh my word. 
young Egyptian covering 3,745 metres. Gaultier, just shy of 3,500 metres. Not bad for a 35 year old coming back from an adductor tet. Well, any matches tonight that can surpass that, then we're going to be on another planet here, squash wise. <laughs> 